Welcome to our first edition of From Tech to Tech Multimedia Presentations. My name is Randall Ripley. I'm the Technical Service Advisor for Total Air Supply, Nashua, and Concord. And you can visit us on the web at www.totalairsupply.com. These multimedia presentations are going to replace the old Tech to Tech column as we uh, live in a video age. Um, a lot of technicians learn a lot better by hands-on and video presentation, pictures, that sort of thing versus just written columns. So now the tech to tech column will morph into these from tech to tech multimedia presentations that will include audio, uh, still photography, and video all bundled into one presentation. We hope you like them and enjoy them. Uh, the, our first presentation is going to be on Universal Motors. Uh, in the future, we will be having uh, Universal Gas Valves, Universal Ignition Modules, Universal Igniters, uh, Line Set Flush Kits, uh, and many other offerings. We hope that these presentations will better serve you, the contractor, and help you understand how to expand your knowledge and your business by learning better how to use universal service packs. Further ado, let's go to our first presentation titled Selecting a Universal Motor. As every technician knows, there comes times when you have to change out a blower motor and the OEM motor is not available. When this situation occurs, you need to go to a universal motor. A universal motor can get you out of a jam as long as you know a few certain facts about the motor. You need to know the voltage of the motor. That's very important. The, mo the voltage cannot vary. You need a 115 volt motor. You replace it with a 115 volt motor. A 230, 208, 230, you replace with a 208, 230. The Hertz. As long as you have a 60 hertz motor, which is an American standard, you're all set in that category. Horsepower. You need to know the horsepower of the motor. This motor says horsepower one half a horse max. Because this is a universal motor and can be used at many different horsepower levels, as you will see later in this presentation, the motor is ma labeled half horsepower max. Amperage. The motor should be close in amperage, but if you think about it, the only thing really in a furnace that's drawing a lot of amperage is the blower motor. So if it's plus or minus a few uh, amps, especially plus a few amps, I don't really see where you're going to hurt anything uh, because the furnace shouldn't be drawing anywhere as near the 15 amps on the breaker anyway. Rota RPM. The RPM 1075 is pretty standard for blower motors and I think you'll find that most blower motors that you're going to be looking to replace are 1075. Rotation. This universal service motor, the rotation is reversible. Uh, later in the presentation I will show you the leads that will do that for you. The capacitor says C table below. Again, the capacitor is going to help us dictate what the horsepower of the motor is going to be. As you can see here, the motor has a diagram on it and it shows you how to wire the unit, where to put the capacitor, which leads uh, will do the rotation for you, that type of thing. Universal motors are extremely helpful in these categories as long as you look at the nameplate and abide by what the nameplate says, you should be all set. Here we have the motor capacitor speeds to use in the FLA which will determine what horsepower you are running at. We won't go over this now because later in the presentation we will cover this much more thoroughly.